Hey, what up guys? Ryan with PC Battle Stations, and today we're going to take a look at the Govi Immersion uh, RGB... <laughs> Govi Immersion RGBIC LED TV Backlight. Now this just isn't your normal LED strip you throw on the back of a TV or monitor. Uh, you're going to want to see this. It goes from this... I don't even know who you are. ...to this. It's gonna blow your hair back. Seriously, this is the effects team I have. I want Beyonce's fan. So what's great about the Govi Immersion Backlights is they actually make your gaming and your movie nights way more immersive. So by using their 1080p smart camera and capturing the lights that's happening on your TV, they can project it in sync uh, with the light strips on the back of the TV. So right now I'm down here in my basement, my man cave, uh, with the fireplace that I built and we got a 70 inch TV that we're gonna go ahead and install it on. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we already unboxed the light strips right here. And uh, just so you know, these light strips, this backlight right here, the cable, USB-C to the start of the light strips, about 40 inches. So, you know, if you need that to kind of plan when you're actually installing these light strips, about 40 inches from, you know, when you start from the corner. So you can plug it in to the controller right here. Um, and the controller comes, uh, you're gonna plug it in, USB-C right here, the light strips, and then uh, USB-A here, you're gonna plug in the camera, and then uh, the power, you're gonna plug in power, and then this controller has the power button, I have it upside down, that's awesome. Uh, power button, and then we have the color, you can change color mode, and then right here, the bottom button, is uh, the music mode, or if you long press it, it changes the brightness. And this uh, little hole down here is kind of a light indicator, uh, you know, detecting any kind of network activity or you know, changing colors to see what kind of what the status is of it. So it also came with, you know, you're gonna need a power, this thing. So you're gonna need to have a power close by. And then you're also going to, here's the camera. It's a 1080p smart camera. Um, and then you're gonna install this on the top of the TV, or you can also install it on the bottom. It also comes with uh, these kind of like, uh, these light strip holders that you can also uh, stick on the back of the TV to help hold the light strips a little bit better. So we got a whole handful of those. And then you're also going to uh, put these on the corners of your TV so when you hook up the camera and kind of sync it up, it kind of shows where the edges of your TV are so it kind of shows where the area that it needs to sync with. And it also comes with alcohol prep pad. So go ahead and clean up your TV before you install these lights. One thing to know too when you're installing these light strips is that there's a shorter side that's meant to go on the sides of the TV and then there's a longer part meant to go on the top and the bottom. So you want to go ahead and kind of hold it up and make sure that you kind of plan it out. Uh, the one that plugs into the controller, uh, the, sh the next part of that light strip goes on the side. These are perfect for a 55 inch to a 65 inch TV. This is a 70 inch TV, so a little bit bigger than what they recommend, but you know what? I like to live on the edge. I'm gonna do it anyways. All right, time for the camera. All right, we got the light strips installed, and then I installed the camera up on top, which you know doesn't look too bad, doesn't bother me. It just sits on top of the TV like that. And then uh, uh, the power supply, uh, there's one in the back of the TV, so I plugged that in. And then oh, I plugged everything into the controller and found a good spot where all the cables were able to connect to the controller and put that on the back of the TV. So everything right now is hooked up, powered on. As you can see, the lights are already turned on. And then now what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and install these uh, little seven foam uh, things on the front of the TV and the corners and stuff so when I actually turn on the camera or go to pair it with the app that we'll be able to see these uh, sensors and know where the edges of the TV are. So let's go ahead and install these and then we'll go up and fire the app, get it paired and then we'll go ahead and uh, calibrate everything and then let's test it out. Alright, I got my Xbox fired up, Battlefront 2 on there, love that game. 
And then, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fire up my Govi app to add this uh, immersion backlight. And what I'm gonna do is uh, hit the plus button in the upper right here to add. And um, the, it's under LED strip light, and I know that uh, I go all the way to the bottom, and it's the H6199, the Immersion TV light strip. So I wanna go ahead and add that. My Bluetooth is already on, looks like it found it. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect. And then device name, that's the device name there. I'm gonna go ahead and change that to um, probably like um, TV backlight, something real smart and then checking the camera now so we're going to go ahead connect to the wi-fi all right after we successfully connected to wi-fi we're going to go ahead and calibrate the camera so we're going to go into calibration here uh, we're going to turn on the room lights and turn off the tv all right we got the room lights on the tv off and we're going to go ahead and uh, hit ready and we installed on the top so we're going to confirm that we installed counterclockwise we'll confirm that so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to move these little indicators here drag the four points to the four corners of the tv screen then drag the top center point to the top of the tv screen tap next now we adjust the yellow point in the border of the screen so click submit all right so before we take a look at the video which is the main feature of this immersion backlight is to you know, project the lights that are on the screen. Uh, it's just like kind of any other Govey uh, light that you have. You can also do music where it can just kind of trigger to your sounds. Blah, 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 blah. And then you can also do color. You can change all the different kind of colors in the different segments of the light strip. And then you can also change scenes if you just want to have you know, a static light or have a scene or anything like that. But this video, uh, it's all about the immersion, about what it has on the TV. So let's go ahead, switch to video. And uh, in here you can already see, before I do that, you know, brightness, we can adjust the brightness if it's a little bit too bright. Let's bring it all the way up. Um, let's switch to video. And then if you take a look here, it also has game or movie. Um, it also has saturation if you want to kind of bump that light all the way, the saturation all the way up to kind of really get it colorful. Um, and then we'll kind of put it halfway so it's not too crazy. Um, and also, it looks like we can switch uh, to kind of have it part or we can have it all. So it looks like all maybe has like maybe a larger chunk and part um, kind of uh, has where it's maybe a little segmented, more addressable, I think. So we're gonna go ahead and go with these settings uh, on this video right now. All right, so this is where I'm gonna be playing with the brightness is 100%, saturation is about 50%. Uh, it's on game mode and it's part. And part seems to be a little bit more addressable than the all. So let's go ahead and play this and we'll kind of compare the two here. Let's see if I can actually play versus actually just trying to take a look at the... Stay there! Before I just... Um, let's see if I can play this and not stare at the lights at the same time. So let's see how bad I am. <laughs> All right, these are the same settings, except it's gonna be all. So it's not gonna be a little bit addressable like it was before on part, I believe is the way it is. So let's take a look at the difference. Skywalker, standing by. As you can see, I can highly recommend this. It makes everything so much better having those lights in the back that react to the lights on the TV. If you're a console gamer, watch movies, have a TV anywhere from 55 to 65 inches uh, or even 70 inches. Pick this up, Amazon, link down below. Check it out and enjoy. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys in the next one.